So you guys have seen me cutting a lot of various things in titanium on my hobby CNC mill. And this is a precursor to me building a key holder for my sister. These are some of the parts for it. And I've decided before I do any more projects in titanium, it's probably a really smart idea if I give a good disclaimer slash some tips for how to machine titanium on your hobby mill if you feel like it's a safe and sane option to even machine it. Trust me, sometimes it's better just to farm the workout to somebody who can do it properly. So before I go any further, it should be noted that titanium can catch on fire given the right conditions when cutting. This is due to the fact that it has very bad heat transfer properties and it is very easy for heat to build up in the cut and this literally can catch the material on fire and titanium fires are no joke. I might put a card in with a link to a titanium fire or two to give you guys an idea. And mind you, these are big and the odds of your giant sheet of titanium such as this catching on fire, if you stare at it wrong, it's not gonna happen. But do note, it can happen, so have the proper precautions in place. And no, you cannot use water to put out a titanium fire. You may be able to do it with a really tiny one, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. it. It acts a bit like magnesium. It tends to kind of spit and throw things everywhere. So you're better off smothering the fire with either the appropriate metal fire fighter, fighting extinguisher, sand, which is dry, salt, which is dry, or baking soda, which is dry, all of which will smother the fire and put it out. Now, there are some times where maybe the fire is so tiny then it's in a little chip tray that you can put it outside and let it burn itself out, but that is definitely something that you have to decide for yourself. Like any fire, it's a judgment call that you have to make, so I'm not gonna tell you the right or the wrong way to do it. It's totally up to you. Now that said, along the lines with that, it's very critical to preventing a titanium fire that you follow these very basic rules. One, never run dull tooling in titanium ever. I mean, ever. You run the risk of, at the minimum, the material heating up and work hardening, which makes it pretty much impossible to cut. Or if you're really lucky, you can start a fire, neither of which you want. So besides that, another important thing is make sure you're running within the manufacturer's recommended feed and speed settings because the last thing you want to do is spin the tool too fast and feed it too slowly, which also causes heat buildup. Now, my recommendations are stay more on the conservative side of the feeds and speeds. Try to shoot for the mid-range. The low side might actually be so low your mill's spindle does not have enough RPM or horsepower or combined behind it to keep the tool moving, but also don't run it on the high side, which is intended for machines that can maintain a high feed rate and you're trying to rough material out and you're fine burning up the tool every part because the time saved makes it worth it. Try and shoot for the mid ground and go with that. That's usually what I do when I'm cutting titanium. Now, another thing is, Take advantage of peel or tricoidal or adaptive toolpath milling wherever possible. The reason why is unlike slot milling, this uses minimal tool engagement so the heat buildup is minimized and you can still get decent metal removal rates with it, especially with smaller tooling. I understand it might take a little bit longer, but it tends to work a little bit better. And another big thing is along the lines of keeping the tool cool is you either need a good coolant setup with a water-based emulsion coolant or a straight cutting oil setup where you're constantly brushing the oil into the cut zone. Personally, I'm not as comfortable with an oil setup just from the fire and the smoke standpoint. Last thing you wanna do is have a titanium fire start all your oil smoking. That can get really nasty in the shop area. And just in general, using oil tends to create a lot of smoke. So unless you have a really good ventilation setup, I'd avoid the oil setup and stick with a liquid coolant setup. Now I understand there are high performance cutting fluids for titanium, but in my experience, I found that Cool Mist's coolant that you can buy in a bottle and thin down and is intended to use with their mist setup also works good in a flood setup and worked fine when I was cutting out titanium 
for the Serenity Firefly spaceship that I did in the previous video and also works good for these guys for my sister's key holder, which will be another video like I mentioned. So I guess in conclusion, something to ask yourself is, are you willing to take the time to machine titanium? Are you willing to run the potential safety risks of it catching on fire, which can happen. It's thankfully somewhat difficult to happen, but don't get me wrong, it can and it will happen if you're not careful. And also, are you willing to potentially eat up tooling at a much faster rate than you would on, say, aluminums, plastics, or even steel for that matter? Titanium is a pretty nasty material, so it's bound to eat up your tooling relatively quickly, especially on less rigid machinery, such as hobby mills, which just don't have the rigidity of a big machine and will have minor flexing in them, which isn't your tool's friend. If you're willing to do all that stuff, then hooray. You're probably okay attempting machining titanium. Just don't leave it unattended ever, period. Just don't. And definitely make sure that if you notice something isn't going right, you stop and you start over again. If it just doesn't sound right, check that your tool is still sharp, hasn't lost any edges. Make sure that your cutting feeds are adequate but not excessive and go from there. So that kind of wraps up this whole should you machine titanium or not. If you're not comfortable doing it, just don't try it. Find somebody who can either water jet or laser cut the parts or just cut them out for you who knows what they're doing. Trust me, when you're working with materials like titanium, you don't want things to go wrong for a whole host of reasons. So I hope you guys found this video interesting and I will be releasing the titanium key holder video here shortly, but I figured because I am doing a lot of titanium projects now, it'd be good to just release this as a general tips, tricks, and disclaimer video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time on Make It With Calvin. As for me, I got more stuff to do on that project.